Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat something, cook and eat something called an Indian inspired lamb chop, okay? And it's there, it's got the British lamb symbol, to imply it's from Britain, the actual meat is from Britain. It's got Tesco freshness and quality. I got this slightly cheaper because it was about to expire the same day or very soon I can't remember which it should have been four pound fifty so four pound forty it was three pound fifty two um, normally I wouldn't have bought something like this but I've never seen it before so I thought I would get it for you guys um, it states, states um, tender lamb chops seasoned with coriander and turmeric I'm just trying to clean this. Yep. Tender lamb chops seasoned with coriander and turmeric, as you can see. And apparently it takes about roughly three to six minutes to cook this. Um, as well as that, I'm going to have it with some rice. Now, this is actually expensive rice. Now, not because I know would normally get this, but to be completely honest, there was a chronic shortage several months ago of rice, and you couldn't buy it for love nor money. So I had to go into a local shop which had this, and they're the only place I could find which actually had it. And then after that, I put it in a cupboard just in case. And then later, the net, about a few days later, I found some cheaper rice, and I had that. So I've tried to save this for, like, more exotic things, okay? And I consider something like this, um, some sort of curried, some sort of curried lamb chops to be a bit more exotic. So I'm having it, okay? Um, but normally, I wouldn't have had this. So I said I had to, this was when there was some, you know, shortage in the shops, and you could get barely anything. It was a, probably about several months ago, maybe even a year now, I forget. Okay, in fact, it must be over a year ago because it's got best before the end of November 2021. But I don't take any notes of this, so I haven't, I should have ideally used this earlier, but I was saving this for more exotic stuff. Okay, it's currently um, the 19th of um, October. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, that's because it's simple, I've got a saucepan here, and I'm just going to, I'm sure this is going to be a disaster, but never mind. And I'm going to pour some rice into the saucepan. Hopefully that should be enough and you can see the rice in the saucepan. I will add water later, okay? Now I have a plate. And there's a reason for this. I will wash the plate before eating, and you'll understand why I'm saying that in a moment. And now, I'm going to take out one of the lamb chops, okay? Now, normally, these are full of blood, so it's normally... Oh, there's a mess everywhere, normally, but I think they've done something, so... So, I'm just showing you that... I should have done it a bit better on camera, but never mind. Um, it's difficult trying to do it on your own. So, I've, I've used a, an, a fork to, like, cut, to, like, do this to sort of, like, open up the, um, polythene wrapping. The film wrapping and so now you'll notice now I have I can easily get hold get this out and I'm gonna put this normally I should have got the plate ready but it's okay it wasn't dripping in blood so normally things like that sometimes drip in blood it's not so bad and um, I put onto a plate now it tells you you've got to so it looks like everything's going to be out of date again, okay? Out of date rice. This is out of date um, sunflower oil. I haven't got a clue when this was actually um, out of date, but it must be because there used to be um, a date on here and it's picked off over time. So 
Don't worry. I'm going to put a very, very, very small amount on. And now, I'm going to use my fingers to rub it in. And they tell you specifically to do this. I was surprised, but they tell you specifically to do this. Turn it over. I probably don't even need to do it because I think there's um, a lot of oil on the other side. But just to show you guys purely for camera effect, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the top as well. And I'm going to rub this in. So it's rubbed in now on both sides. And turn it over again. Right, that should be ready now. I'm going to put. I'm going to put the lid back on the sunflower oil. And now I'm going to boil the rice. Then I'm going to take it downstairs and put it on the cooker downstairs to finish off. And then I'm going to heat um, this in a frying pan. I'm going to do it slightly differently to the way they say. They say put it right in the frying pan and then put it on a heated plate. I'm just going to turn it down. Okay. So, okay guys. Now... I'm going to cook it, okay? It's only a matter of putting things on a hot plate and, you know, turning it over, basically, for the for the um, lamb chop, okay? And for the um, rice, it's just a matter of me putting some boiling water and leaving it alone. I'm sure that's not the best way of doing it, but it's the way I do it. I don't bother with all this rinsing nonsense that they tell you to do. I never bother with it, okay? It might, might One day I might try it and see if there's any difference, but I generally can't be bothered. So, there you go, guys. Now I'm going to go and cook it.
Okay, guys. And now I'm going to eat it, okay? So, move back a bit. Just to get rid of some of the fresh rice off here. Now, it's a knife and a fork to so cut it. And somebody asked about this now. This is something that's so natural to us we don't even notice. But apparently, if you live in America, what they would then do is they would then put the knife down. They would then put the fork into the right hand. Stab it down with the right fork and then they sit like that. Mm -hmm. Can you can swap the hands? Now to move that to with that's a rigmarole. We are taught pretty much from birth how to using two hands, so without putting the knife down. Somebody once asked about peas, I'm going to show you something similar with rice. You get a knife and we push it. We use the knife to push things onto the fork while the fork is scooped like that. And we, like that, push things onto it with the knife, lift it up, and get it, okay? The lamb chop is very, can be very juicy, slightly sweet, I wouldn't say it was sour really. Um, got rice everywhere. I just push this back a minute, otherwise it's falling off the plate. Also, you can eat this. This is the fat on a lamb chop, and you can eat that as well. If some people in some cultures don't, and there's some bone here, so because it's a chop and it's got bone, so you won't normally do this by the way. This is extreme young cove. I'm just telling you. Right. So that is basically the bone. And um, more than that later. I'm going to eat some more rice. I'm not quite sure why, but I think the branded rice does actually taste better, but I'm not quite sure why. You know, in terms of, I don't mean why, because they're probably, there's probably a good reason, like these better grain or something, but... I mean, I can't describe the taste difference, you know? But there is definitely an improvement, I think. No, but I'm going to do some I don't know. So I've had to use um, cheaper rice, because it's cheaper. And this isn't even basmati, this is... And then in the past I did something similar, but I don't think I actually put, um, it might have been beef, I can't remember now, and there's something you meant to use with mango, um, okay. That was it, mango took me. Um, I've just had this, I see it's been nothing but the rice and 
what's I got of these engine lamb chops engine inspired lamb chops from Tesco they are saying inspired because they're not actually from India but the idea is from India okay without learning English okay so inspired means it's not actually from there but the idea comes from that it means they've used ideas from somewhere rather than actually um being exactly from there okay now I'll just tell you guys I'll come back to this bone pit and I haven't finished it yet but normally I would have done do the bit one back to when I've finished. When I was a child often there'd be some like meat left on the bone, okay? Or a lamb chop, because I often used to have lamb chops when I was young. Usually with mint sauce to be honest, rather than this. And I've used my fingers to like pick the excess um meat off off the bone because it's quite difficult to actually get the extra meat off with a knife and fork. So instead I used to use my nails. I'm sure this is extremely uncouth but there you go it's like this way you don't waste any um, food this way. You know, and so that's pretty much. Let's just show you. Look, I would know how well I can show this, but so my fingernails would go between the meat. Okay. I'm going to use another finger in front of it to clamp it and like sort of ticket it like like this on there. And it used to take quite some time to do that, so that's why I used to leave it till the very end. But I'm with a meal, but I just did that to show you guys, okay? I'm sure it's uncouth, I'm sure some people will go berserk, but there you go. Probably wasn't a good idea to do that because now some of the rice and meat has gone cold, but my mum. Um, if anybody's worried, um, there is some slight spiciness to it, but I don't think it's going to burn your ha burn your own mouth off in any way, but in more recent times. I got more used to curry so I can't come it anymore but I know in the past some things were extremely spicy and I couldn't deal with it. I can deal with this and I think there must be to it than what they've said to be honest because um, I was saying it contains lamb Sugar, spices, the trouble is it doesn't say what's, oh wait a minute, it doesn't say what spices, it just says spices. May starch, onion powder, salt, spirit vinegar powder, dried garlic, black onion seed, chilli flakes, yeast extract, turmeric, coriander, coriander leaf, bay leaf, lemon oil, and it says made using British lamb. There you go, they say that once you, I froze this which you're supposed to do. 
and it says when it's due from frozen eat within 24 hours i'm not going to do that i'm going to eat it over four days so um for me i think that's about um, 96 hours but there you go Yes, I know for some coup, but sometimes I get the other way. But sometimes I was getting very near the end. No, you shouldn't do this. I use this fork to put things onto the knife. Is it straight off the knife? But that's when it's getting very near the end. Probably where the Chinese eat it all with chopsticks and things, but there you go. Anyway, there you go, guys. Engine inspired lamb chop with rice. Thanks for watching. Bye.